Welcome fellow travellers to this bee journey that we're all on. My friends from Cirrusel have sent us a new cool idea. I don't know if you've actually seen on our website, you can buy the Cirrusel rounds, which are really awesome on your can bear cheese. Well, they've decided in their wisdom to make it easier for us beekeepers so we don't have to have a little box that is just its own little super. So they've sent me this new idea that they've got where you can join two together and just drop them in a normal super box. So I'm keen to give it a crack. So all I've got to do now is figure out the jigsaw puzzle because I fossicked through the little thing and it didn't come with instructions. So I'm thinking it says simple to put together. Lucky it didn't say it's simple to put together because that would be an Ikea instruction booklet. Talking about Ikea, we were down there the other day with the kids doing a bit of shopping and I was wandering through, I think it was like the last little bit. I don't know if you've ever been to Ikea stores and they make you go around a bloody circle and follow the arrows. And even before bloody COVID virus, we had arrows in that crazy shop. Anyway, going through there, there's this poor lass who's an employee trying to put an Ikea cover together and she's sitting there with all these instructions spread across the top of the desk and her mouth open and her eyes open going, what the fuck's going on? And I thought to myself, at least even the employees have fun putting that crap together. So oh, I can feel vindicated when I have a box of screws left over when I put the kids' covers together. Not only me, it's people that even work there. So anyway, I digress, right? So anyway, back to the way we're doing. We've got this cool idea from Cirrusel. We're going to give it a crack. If you haven't actually played with these before, oh, I can reach past there. They come in a, like a little kit like this. And then normally there's a little box that these little frames sit in, like a little half super. And you sit them in there and then the girls work on here. But we've got to put a bit of wax in the middle to make them work in here. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what would happen without the wax. It'd probably be weird ass. But anyway, so we've got to put our wax in and our little circles. So we've got some little circles that we put in there as well. They have a special little groove they slip into. So in theory, you'll be able to put them together like that in your normal super box and you won't need the little box. I reckon that's kind of cool. So you can interchange them with some of the other frames. They don't necessarily build in there quite as easily as you'd think, but they will when they have to. And it's really cool when it gets put together. Right, now let's see if we pop these apart. Put our little circles in. Now, dipshit, make sure you put them back the right, the right way, otherwise that'll be fun. Okay, so we've got these special little circles that go in here, so you, when you get your honeycomb, you don't have to touch nothing, which is pretty cool. Now, the first time you put these together, don't be silly like me and actually think the ring is just to be taken off to put in, because this ring is actually part of your packaging, so it's all very well thought out. So don't, don't be silly and try to cut the bloody honeycomb out of the ring and think you're going to reuse the ring. That's just not the game plan. The game plan is the ring is part of the packet, so... But also, the little frame, so you've got your little little lip here, you've got your little frame which is professionally designed, and you'll see you've got like a little recess, I guess you'd say, for that bit. So you just slip the up bit in there, and those two little grooves should sit in that bit there, if you get it right. And then you want it nice and flush, so you can put it together, so you've got a nice flush finish. If it doesn't sit in there flush, you've done something wrong, all right? Now, if you're, a, if you're a lateral thinker, it goes opposite to the way you'd actually think it should go, because I would have thought with a little that's got this recess bit, you'd think it'd go into the opening. You see where there's a bit of an opening? You'd think, ah, well, it goes in there. But my friends at Cirrusel are clever enough to outsmart you. They just don't let it actually fit that way. So don't go inside and get yourself a pair of scissors and nip the edge off and be determined that the mould's had some slippage or some crazy shit like that. Nope, the boys are actually on your side and they've got this sorted out so you can't muck it up. So just behave yourself. I'm sure there's some directions somewhere, but I haven't got them, so. <laughs> anyway, so you just pop it in there the way it should go. Make sure it's all nice and flush. Give it a little wiggle, wiggle and wiggly bit. Oh yeah, that even nearly went click. I don't know whether it's meant to go click to say it's good, but anyway, it just did. Now, something else I've noticed along my journey of making these up. If your wax is a little bit warm, it's a bit easier to actually mold it all together because you want to be able to push it through the little, it's like these little clip bits that hold it all together. So if your wax is slightly warm, not ridiculously warm, don't get carried away, don't stick the shit in the oven and all that sort of crazy ass stuff. Just a nice warm day, it's good. It works cold as well, so you know, don't stress out too much. Right? I just find it's better. And then you can just push it together nicely, give it not too much weight, a little bit of pressure. Push it down, make sure you've got it sealed up. So you want to squash that in there so it seals good. 
I'm sure you could buy half sheets of wax that would probably, I'd probably, I'd tell you what, if you're on the Cirocell website, there's probably an actual purpose-built piece of wax for these things, but they didn't send me that, so I've just gone to use my own. But anyway, they're basically two halves, so it's all good. So you just run your knife along here. Oop. Come on. And there you have it. Last night I was a guest speaker at the car club. Which is rather interesting having a beekeeper at car club. But anyway, what the hell, this is the country and, you know, maybe they're in short supply of guest speakers. Anyway, it was a fun night and I had a dear lady come up to me and she was going, what do you do with those round circles of honeycomb? What's that about? And I said, oh, well, you, you know, you get them and you put them on your cheese platter. They go really cool on top of a cannonball or, you know, next to the cannonball and you cut little wedges and then you serve it up and it looks amazing running, on the, running over the cheese. It's really cool with cheese, honeycomb and cheese. It's awesome. And she goes, oh, that sounds like a lovely idea. I'm going to a party tomorrow night. Can I have that one that you've got on your display? So you never know, you know, perhaps there's a sale in every, every outing. But if you want some Cirocell honeycomb Cirocells, Go to our website, The Bush Bee Company, and pick yourself up one for your cheese platter. recipe isn't it we've got the first part of the recipe so we've got our frames with our wax organized now we've got the new toys oh. hang on it's got something written on there it says don't know I can't read it because my eyes don't work in the dark pretty sure it says manufactured by Cirocell but I can't see it <laughs> anyway the plan is we're gonna get two of these frames I wonder what happens there perhaps it goes down there so it looks like that just slips in there, slips on that bit. Ah, so this one's going to be upsy tidy downsy. Be like that. Ta da! And it looks like this one slides down in here. Pa bum pa bum pa da! Oh, well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? There you have it, a full-fledged Cirocell frame. Huh. You know what? People complain about plastics, but shit, it's clever stuff, isn't it? How clever is that? You try, you try getting your chisel out and making that happen with a bloomin' chisel and a, I don't know, what's that hammer and a chisel and sort of trying to make that pattern happen. I bet you that'd be entertaining. I've got a few spares I reckon the boys have sent me, so enough to fill up a super. So we better go and find ourselves a super, find some bees, and see if we can't make some Cirocell rounds. Busy, busy bees going here. <laughs> Golly gosh. Oh, we've got one little one here we'll have a look in. See what we can find. So if this is a little, this is what you normally, we would be normally running as the Cirocells. Got the little actual independent box. So this is the plan is to actually, I guess, rotate them out or, hell, I don't know, going forward we'll probably have a bit of each because we've got a few of these. Anyway, we'll just show you what the original idea was. Give them a little bit of smoke, smoke these up, smoke it up. Yeah, just nice and steady. The weather's thinking about changing here at the minute, so they're a little bit toey. Now they're just starting to work up onto this little one. So this might be just the ideal one to pop out the way. Now you can see this is what happens last time we were here, we lost the spring, so we had to jam a bit of cardboard in here, so we might not have to worry about that anymore. Because the idea is that this is like a purpose built, they've got it chopped out a little bit, so as it'll fit inside. Obviously the mold had to be the right size to make the circles, and then they had to make the box to suit that. So this will save them having to do all of that, I would assume, going forward. We'll just give this a little, little wriggle, see if we can't get it off. Break up some of the propolis that's hooking it all together. Stand it up on its edge a bit, and we'll find out how hectic everybody is in here. Hello, ladies. Nice to see you too. Welcome, Mr. Bush Bee Man. We'd like to see you so we can make you some more honey. Okay, so now, we're, since I've got this off here, I might just, I might pop that on the lid, and we'll have a bit of a look in the brood box while we're here full arsing around, just to see how happy they are on the citrus, see what they're doing. They look like they're over hectic, but it's such a beautiful day, a lot of the workers are out flying, I would think. So we'll find out in a minute. 
You can almost hear the roar. <laughs> Sounds like a blooming freeway. It's a B-way <laughs> instead of a freeway. What are we doing, chicks? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. I think they're going along all right, I reckon, but look at them. There's a bit of honey mixed in around everywhere, so they're getting a bit excited. You can see they're pretty hectic. They have any hole that's either full of larvae or full of blooming nectar. We'll just sit that up there for a minute. See if we can't make a complete mess of ourselves. I think they're enjoying beer on, on this citrus. They're getting off their chops on it. Well, there's not a heck of a lot of it. Look at all that dripping out. Look at that. <laughs> Golly gosh, girls, you're loving this bit of paradise, aren't you? Look at that. They're so enthused, they've even laid up to the edge of the jolly frame on this one. They even, haven't even got any... They've got so much food coming in, they haven't had to worry about packing honey away. I'm just making sure she's got a few frames that she can plant some new brood, which is this frame looks all right. Looks like these girls have hatched out a bunch and she hasn't got back there again, so that's all right. You don't want every jolly frame chockers, otherwise she's got nowhere to lay and then they get all excited and the next thing you know they're making a swarm cell and then they're buggered off across the countryside. And that's not what you want. I mean, you want to be able to split them when you want it, but as soon as they swarm and then it's a whole interesting excitement, you've got to go and try and catch them out of a tree or wherever else they decide to land. Which is always very, very interesting because they never ever quite land where you'd like them to. Right, anyway, they all look nice and healthy and they've got some beautiful, I don't think they're going to swarm out of there just yet. There's not a huge population in here because they're pretty much a nice warm day so a lot of the field bees are out working. They don't all have to be in here keeping this all warm except for some idiot bloody beekeepers here annoying them. So my thought pattern is since they look like they're bringing in plenty of nectar, we're going to pop our queen excluder back on and then we're going to convert this over from a little Cirrusel, I don't know, individual box to with the tool frame. So we'll just pop those, our four new ones on there. I'm drinking the reason the boys over there in New Zealand said it's bloody like enough to do four frames because there's going to be another four frames in this box that we can put in here. So we'll have eight frames in our 10 frame box and they'll all be good. They sent me enough ends, you see, now they were thinking more than I was, so we're all good. So I might just make myself, make my life easy and put this up on top of a box rather than kneeling down on the ground for any longer. And we'll pop our serious cells up the top here. <laughs> then I won't have to be on the ground, will I? Look at that, up there for, what is it? Up here for thinking, down there for dancing or some crap like that. I don't know. Yeah, I know, it's not one of my strong points, but you just keep it to yourself. Ready? Right, yeah, we'll just pop these ladies out of here. Gosh, you know what this means. I'm gonna have to order some more Cirrus cells because I wanna fill this back up again. Here, we'll get two out of here for a start. Sit them down there. Yeah. We will get our little new leg. Yeah, that gotta go. That one's gotta go that way around. Because they'll be, they'll be upside down now, they'll be all confused. Right, like that. We might just clean this little bit of excitement off of here. And then those ones are going to go on the top of there. And in we pop it. Look at that. If you're playing around with these, I've just made a discovery. Lifted by the white bits at the end, which makes logical sense because that's what you do with a normal frame. I mean, anyway, appears to me this is a 10 frame super and we've got eight Cirrus cells in there and it looks beautiful. So you just gap them out a little bit so the ladies have got a little bit of room to play around. And I think that looks pretty bloody good. Come back in a month or so or a couple of weeks, depending on how the flow goes here. And hopefully we'll have something to show you. What do you reckon? I think that's amazing. Tom.